सत्कारणम नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकज मोषिक वागण मोदक सामर
No, can we go into the room there? You can tell me. Go in there. Go in there.
No, we're gonna go out yeah. this way and turn yeah. the head out. Four beer, four beer. Okay, no, I'll be here to go out here, right? Where we are we going? You're gonna pass the back and take it back. Okay, turn out. Yeah, maybe this is No, 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 not now. Okay, you'll be a god. Yeah, you're gonna go out here. Okay, uh, Kishin, come with me. We need, someone needs to come with a stand now. Yeah. Right. Take it off, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming with you to 
Dear family, friends, relatives, my very, very humble vanakkam, namaskaram, namaste, greetings to one and all of you this afternoon. We have all gathered here under very, very sorrowful circumstances, and that is, we are here to pay our last respects, our tributes, for the deceased, whereby we pray to the God Almighty, Namachivai Paramani, that he comes down and offers salvation to the soul that has left his gross of physical body, and then on the same token, we pray to him, asking him to give his support, his comfort to the family, especially now during the very, very trying time that they are going through. Ladies and gentlemen, also please know, we are living under very, very trying circumstances. We're living in this phase that we refer to as the world is COVID infested, and therefore part of the regulations, part of the protocol that we need to follow is when you come through each and every one of us needs to have a mask on come past that counter over there you sanitize your hands you come through you view the face offer a little flower petals into the casket there should be I know it's our, it's our culture it's our culture that we hug we kiss we shake hands but unfortunately because of the COVID situation I'm gonna ask you to refrain from doing so please also bear in mind, Granny here is of very, very advanced age. And you know with COVID, they normally attack the elders quicker than anybody else. All right, so please, I'm appealing to you. When you come here, you'll see the, uh, the face. Pick up your hands for the family that's sitting over there and walk past, please. There should be no hugging, there should be no kissing, and there should be no shaking of hands. Om Shuklaam Bharadar Vikram Sashivarnam Sadar Pujam Prasana Vadanam Diyaje Sarva Viknum 
प्रशांतयी ओम नमः शिवाय विद्महि मगादेवाय धीमहि you can come through this way, please come through this way, view the face, pick up your hand for the granny that is sitting there and walk past. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just need to uh, do a, a speech uh, and give a reflection of who uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bandiyar was. Um, on behalf of the Explosive Section Head, Brigadier Mark Palai, on behalf of the Provincial On behalf of the um, Criminal Record and Crime Scene Management Provincial Head, Brigadier Bengu, I would like to share a few things with the Bandayar family. Thank you for this opportunity, this moment to allow us to grieve with you. We all lost a son, a brother. And I would like to leave just one moment to say that we are just a phone call away uh, in anything that you would need. To the South African Police Service, senior officers present, and via the YouTube link, colleagues, thank you for allowing us to honor a great legend who was not only a police official, but a bomb technician and an inspector of explosives. Today we are saying farewell to one of the greatest or the finest in modern day bomb disposal. I want you to hear that. One of the finest in bomb disposal, modern day bomb disposal fraternity. This is not me trying to be, to be funny and, and trying to uh, put in a good few words, no. This is echoed across continents. 
Colonel Ranier was not only known to uh, Durban, KwaZulu Natal, Pretoria, where he worked briefly, or South Africa, where he practiced his skill as a bomb technician. But he had an international footprint as he crisscrossed the globe, hungry to learn, teach, observe, and selflessly share knowledge, only shared by those who understand what it means to protect our world against the ultimate threats of explosives and CBR, that is chemical and biological and radiological warfare. He attended an array of courses in South Africa and internationally. Internationally, mostly funded by himself because of that hunger to gain more knowledge in bomb disposal, in chemical and biological uh, countermeasures. And that is to ensure that he's on par with the latest techniques, trends and threats, good practices in relation to explosives and CBR, and as, a fr as, and as friends across continents. We have received condolences from across the world as we mourn this giant. Uh, messages streamed in from the International Bomb Data Working Group, uh, and they say, in memory of Dan. They know him as Dan Bandiyar. Also from John, who is the Assistant Commissioner to the Ugandan Police, Director of the EAP CCO Counterterrorism and Center for Excellence. That's the level at which Colonel Bandiyar played his game of bomb disposal. In this latest threat of COVID-19, he was on the forefront, leading our teams around KwaZulu Natal to ensure that our men and women in blue are protected whilst carrying out their constitutional mandate. Yes, he was also our brother, a bomb technician that we could look up to for guidance, leadership, and mentoring those who is aspiring and were hungry to learn from him. He was always enthusiastic about his work. The bomb disposal related challenges we are facing in Africa, not just South Africa, not just Durban, not just Bazulu Natal, in Africa, was always on his mind. Carefully piecing together the plans that would embed his memories in this environment he so dearly loved. Since he came home from Pretoria, and rejoined us in KZN. He worked on his legacy. And as you know, he was about to retire in a month's time. Wasn't really going to happen. His hunger for knowledge, his hunger to share, his hunger to mentor, pushed him to apply for an extension, to do the work that he so greatly loved. He was forever young. His legacy, his vision was to give back to the younger members of our environment by creating a workshop for bomb technicians at the Durban office. This was going to be the flagship where bomb technicians can hone their skill, research the latest international best practices in CBRNE, reconstruct and various uh, acronyms in our field you know, IEDD, VPD, ID, you know, all those things. And that is basically just describing the different types of bombs uh, there is. He embarked on his final long journey. And we hope that one day we will join him again somewhere on his journey. His place is empty, his voice is still, but we shall cherish everything he stood for for as long as the footpaths he laid for us remain to be explored. I would like to thank everyone. Um, and just to give you an idea of uh, the entities that he received training from, Scotland Yard, um, from the USA, uh, from Canada, Royal Police, um, various international uh, arenas where he received training from. And he was, he was well, well known. Uh, in the bomb, disp bomb disposal uh, environment uh, in, in, in the world. Uh, people are describing him as a true loss for our environment. And I would like to thank his mother, his family, for, for allowing us
to learn from such a great man. Thank you. So this is from Pam. I got I got two uh, messages. Uh, first is from Pam, and the second is from Demi. Uh, for dance, please. Okay, from Pam. Woke up this morning, thinking of you. I stand motionless, consumed in grief. How can all of this be true? I can't believe you really got. It. I still cannot accept it. Just the thought of you makes me cry. Our hearts are damaged and so severely scarred. Anna, you are, you are loved unconditionally. It was incredibly exceptional, authentic, 
and so selfless and generous to any, everyone around you. A big brother, not only to Cliff, but I bet to all our cousins too. Each and every one of us held a special place in your heart. You took care of mommy's every need right after, after you took the last breath. I'm forever grateful to you for sacrificing your life to give us the best. Although we were separated by the ocean, I felt safe knowing that you were just a phone call away with a valid visa on hand too. Dan, you were such a spontaneous person. I remember calling you late one night telling you that I was sad and missed the family tremendously. You cheered me up and told me to go to bed. And when I woke up, I'd feel better. Little did I realize that you would be knocking on my door the next day. That trip you and our darling niece, yeah. Megan, so carefully planned. The poor child was sworn to secrecy, not to tell her dad to. Just in case, he let me know that you were coming. We had such a great time during that visit. All I have now have are memories. Sweet memories of us cooking together, watching movies, sightseeing and FaceTiming our cousins, just to have a good laugh about our childhood days. Boy, am I glad it was just you and I. I'm going to miss the days of you rocking up at my house or any part of the day or night. Your WhatsApp messages telling me off if I didn't do something for my kids. And all the phone calls to check up on me. My Anna, you, will, you always reassured me not to worry about anything. That you were there for me and my family and we always had a place to call home in SA. I, I am the luckiest or should I say the most blessed little sister ever. So proud to be your baby sister. My kids also were blessed with a superhero, a generous, loving, and doting uncle, and a cheeky best friend. Thank you for thank you for giving them wise counsel and reprimanding when needed. They were so awe of you and all that you did, especially your career. Nothing was too big or too difficult for you. You taught them to believe in themselves and be adventurous and travel the world. You were inspiration and the uncle they came up came to for anything and everything. You spoiled them with lavish presents. Duan and Demi knew that you were their guardian, but now you are the guardian angel. Then, if there's one quality that I admire in you, was your humility. Always so humble amidst all the accolades you achieved, and also your love of God. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll ensure that I take you two kangaroos to church, as you always said to them, to put God first in all, all that they ever do. Your godly legacy will live on. You've left a valid void in my heart, in my life, Dan, and I pray that God will help help me through. My heart aches that I can't hold you, Anna, one more time. It hurts me so much that I can't even say goodbye. Go well, Anna. Your work here is done. I know there's a big welcome party happening in heaven. Love you always. See you on the flip side, my brother. So, so that was from uh, this, 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 this is from Demi. Uh, dear, dear Uncle, Uncle Dan, I can't believe I'm writing this. I never thought I'd lose you so early in my life. It feels as if I've lost a part of my heart that I'll never be able to get back. From the time I was little, you irritated me and troubled me like tomorrow. I still clearly remember the time you had thrown cold water on me in the shower, which inevitably made me hit my head on the wall and cry. You felt so horrible that you bought me whatever I wanted after. It's moments like that that I look back and laugh at how cheeky and fun you were. When I was small and I wanted to and I wanted something, you would go out of your way to get it for me. Whether that be in a bubble bath or a random coconut, you always give me my heart's desire. However, that never ended. You bought me my first laptop when I turned 14. You even sent me a, your camera from South Africa to Australia just for my trip to Europe, although I never expected anything from you. You always went above and beyond to spoil me. When you would visit us, I would get so excited and, and just watch you sleep because I was so happy to have my cheeky uncle at home. I loved you when you when you came pick me up from school and yell at the car window or, or come surprise me at work. It hurts me to think that the last time you were here, I was so caught up in life that I didn't get to fully appreciate your presence. Uncle Dan, I know this sounds silly, but I always felt safe knowing that I hide you as an uncle. 
I knew that if I, if I was ever kidnapped or taken, you would be the one to find me. I knew, I, I knew how intelligent and great you were at your job. And no, you'd never let anything happen to me. It's scary to think that the Earth's site protector is now my guardian angel. I will be, I will be forever in your awe and how much you did for not only Aya, but everyone around you. You really did dedicate your life to helping the people around you. And I hope to be half the person you were. Thank you for always putting your family first and going above and beyond for all of us. I promise that I will take care of mom the way you took care of Aya for so long. I would do anything to hear your voice again or to have you lecture me about life in the real world. <clears throat> Just know I've taken all your lessons and your spirit will always look through me. Although you've gone, you'll, you'll, you'll never ever be forgotten after that. Your light will always shine through, you will always have a place in my heart. I will forever cherish, I will forever cherish our moments together and strive to do better and be as humble as you are. I will also eat, eat my veggies like I know you've always wanted me to do. I love you so much, Uncle Dan. Give, give your dad, stranger, stranger Aya, and, and, and Tata a big hug from him. Love from your, your favorite niece, Demi. Anybody wants to view the face before I start with comments of the puja? If you are participating in the prayer, please make your way around here. Thank you. Om Shwarai Yenamaham, Yegdandai Yenamaham, Kabilai Yenamaham, Gajakarnagai Yenamaham, Lampodarai Yenamaham, Vikarai Yenamaham, Vikaraja Yenamaham, Ganadipai Yenamaham, Tomakedai Yenamaham, Balachandarai Yenamaham, Gajanana Yenamaham, Gauri Pidehi Namaham, Vani Pidehi Namaham, Sejamali Namaham, Sudai Yenamaham, Ayan Hinamaham, Ganishan Hinamaham, Shumahai Yenamaham, Yakatantai Yenamaham, Nedinamala Yenamaham, Armukanan Hinamaham, Yerambai Yenamaham, Bakadundai Yenamaham, Nira Ganabadi Yenamaham, Shakti Ganabadi Namaham, Nana Vita Parimarabadri Pushpani Samatia Om Bakatunda Mahakai Surya Kurti Samaprabha 
निर्विक्तम गुरु में देवो सर्वकारी शुष्कर्वदा मनाके प्रमाणे मुनिक मुपरम समर्पियामी ताम बोलम समर्पियामी प्राक्षयम समर्पियामी अवरोधन कारणयम समर्पियामी चक्रिमत्ताई समर्पियामी मंजल समर्पियामी कुंगमं समर्पियामी अरंपल समर्पियामी पालम समर्पियामी मनाके प्रमाणे मुनिक ध्यानगायम समर्पियामी कैसे सोचना करने के लिए निश्चय हो जाएगा ओम तत्पुरुषाय वित्तमहि वक्तुंडाय दीमहि धन्नो धन्नि प्रशोदया Carry what we refer to as a nape pandam. Nape pandam is a stick that's got e coated on it, and we send to Mother Earth. We thank you for allowing us the opportunity of having this individual living amongst us all those number of years. Now that time has called, we return this gross or physical body back to Mother Earth, and we say to her, Thai, we understand this concept that the body belongs to Mother Earth, this body belongs to God. At the end of the day, as we part ways with this body, we are offering it what we refer to as a napandam. Napandam is a yeast stick that acts as a fuel to reduce this body back to ashes. All right. All of you are going to carry a napandam. You're going to walk around the desert. Follow him. Follow him. Um, anybody else that wants to come? Ladies, this was
சென்றவீந்திர பக்ரி வாண்டியார் அவர்களுடைய ஆத்மாவின கதியும் சாந்தியும் அறிந்து உங்களுடைய பாதார விந்தனத்தில் சேரும்படியாக இப்பொழுதும் இந்த மாலின் பெண்டும் பொறிமஞ்சாயி சமர்த்தியாமி பிரம்ம தேவத்தாய நமாம் ஓம் விஷ்ணு தேவத்தாயி நமாகம் ஓம் ருத்ர தேவத்தாய நமாகம் ஆதி பராசக்தி தேவிக்கும் நமகம் we take the gross of physical body we offer it back to mother earth and we say to the soul we are human beings we are given the preference as a race to hold on to this atma or this jeevan or this soul this tiny spark of energy until such time we release it back to god okay? and we say to that soul please in view of the fact that your gross of physical body is no longer here we are offering what we refer to as an astral body or a spiritual body please occupy the supplementary body until such time we release the soul back to God. That's what this one child is all about. So let's go into the room. Just wait for me, don't go away, don't wait for me. Let me go back. Because that can be cut this way. Give me a soft person. This is not going to stick me all. ஓம் பாலம் தலித்தேனும் பாகம் பரப்பம் இவனாலும் கலித்த உனக்கு நான் தருவேன் கோலம் செய் தொங்க கரிமுகத்துவம் அணியேன் எனக்கு செங்கத்தாவில் மூன்றும் தாவனாக பிரமாணி கற்புர தீபம் ஆராதனை சமர்ப்பியாமி ஓம் அப்ப கணேஷ பிரமாணி கற்புர தீபம் ஆராதனை சமர்ப்பியாமி ஓம் கங்கா யமுனா சைவ கோதாவரி சரஸ்வதி நர்மதா சிந்து காவேரியை சமர்ப்பியாமி Like I've explained, the gross of physical body is inseparable from Mother Earth. In other words, you cannot separate it. 
the body having been born from the bulk, bulk of the earth will eventually return to the bulk of the earth. That's God's law, we cannot change it. The Atma, the Jivan of the soul, the tiny spark of energy that drives his body for the whole of life is inseparable from the Divine Master himself. He will release that soul to come down and take care, loss of physical birth. And when he does that, he gives the soul certain instructions to come down here, work on it, it's of his previous life. The soul is inseparable from the Divine Master, the body And we say to Mother Earth and the soul, we understand this concept, we say to God, we understand this concept, whereby, whereby these two entities are totally inseparable from the different events. Therefore, like the way if you take milk and water and if you mix it, you cannot separate it. We say to God, we have a full understanding of this whole concept. Right? Do this. Om Adi Parasati Bhuma Devitai in the water like palam jalam kalinde samat piyami from the water into the milk and water. All of you are going to do that, right? No? Water, milk, flow. Three times. That's it. All of you are going to come one by one and do that. You follow me? Oh, Magalachmi, I with my wish, no, but me, I get him, I give. Then, oh, let me show the other down the top down there. Oh, Madi, we tie in the water, a kid on him, so it be a All done there, all done.
this.
Dear family and friends, please note, we will be departing from here in the next 10 minutes. Those of you who want to see the face for the last and final time, those of you that are not accompanying us to the crematorium, please come past and view the face for the last and final time. Like I said, we will leave here in 10 minutes' time. We will go down, there's a few rituals that need to be performed at the bottom, and from there we will depart at quarter to four. Thank you.
சனரி போற்றி எந்தை அடி போற்றி சனரி போற்றி சிவன் சேவ அடி போற்றி நெய்யாத நின்ற நீ மன அடி போற்றி மாயா பிறப்பு அறக்க மன்னனடி போற்றி 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 பற்றி ஓட்டம் ஓம் கங்காயுமனா சைவ கோதாவரி சரஸ்வதியே நர்மதா சிந்து காவேரியை சமற்றி ஆமிச்சு ஓம் நமச்சிவாயம் புண்ணியகவச்சனாயி நமாம் ஓம் புண்ணியகவச்சனாயி நமாம் என்னாடுடியே சிவனி போற்றிஷ்டர் என் நாட்ட வர்க்கம் இறைவா போற்றன் என் நாட்ட வர்க்கம் இறைவா போற்றி போற்றி போற்றி